Hey, everybody. Oh, I just showed and said eight assists, no turnovers. You know, that's a beautiful number. So I think 15 assists on the weekend. I don't know. I do. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of nice work, how about Colby coming off the bench and really giving you guys a big yeah. start? Um, two nights in a row. You know, this weekend we just mentioned that in the locker room. You know, how, how well Colby played. She really sparked us, played time, uh, spent time at the four and the five this weekend, uh, and just played huge for us. Brought great energy on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, I, I just, I mean, she's the one that everybody was coming up talking to me about at the end, and for good reason. You know, it was just a, a great performance, and we needed that energy. I thought she was the key to the first half. I thought Jen came in and really sparked us. She, you know, she attacked and got to the free throw line. Um, and then when Kobe got in, I mean, it was, I mean, I think she scored eight points or something, ten, eight points in, in five minutes in the first half. And I thought that was just huge for us. You know, we needed that spark, and she provided it. And uh, first time she touched the ball, knocked a shot down, and that set the tone. Kobe, how good did it feel to kind of get some extended minutes and really kind of play? It felt good. Um, I came into the game just knowing that we had to be aggressive and just come in with a lot of energy. So I tried to maintain that on the bench before I got in. So I felt like I was kind of into the game. And then once I got in the game, I was into the game. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good back and forth in that first half. What, did you, what was Utah State doing well? Shooting. You know, I thought they hit tough shots. Um, thought they did. I thought they just played a good first half. You know, this is a team that typically zones a lot. <laughs> We've worked all week. You know, working against their their zone press and, and their two three that they use in the quarter court. Um, you know, and they came out and played straight man. You know, and we thought that was possible. I didn't know what they'd do, uh, knowing that we have the shooters that we have. You know, and they gave up a few threes the other night. I knew that, and so you know that was a game plan adjustment that I thought was effective, obviously for them. Uh, I thought we were a little bit flat. Uh, at the same time, I thought they hit big shots, you know, and so credit them. We, you know, uh, they were hitting post moves over Ruth, you know, which uh, you typically don't see. Um, and so I, I thought they just got in a nice rhythm. Um, 21, uh, Williams did a, I mean, she's just a heck of a player. I mean, that's a big time scorer. Did a great job uh, working off screens, and she was hard to guard tonight, you know. So I thought Utah State played a great game. Uh, Sid, this is the first time, this is the first game that you have ever been behind in the scoreboard uh, so far through three games. Uh, how do you keep composure through that? Uh, I think just having confidence in one another and the preparation that we put in ahead of time. Uh, like Coach said, we started a little flat today, and I think that we just had to have some kind of spark, and Jen and Colby provided that today. And I think what's special about our team is you never know who's going to bring that energy. And um, I just think, you know, fighting through adversity, becoming one, and, um, you know, remembering why we're here, what we're trying to do, and then just dominate the other team. Scott, as a coach, just how comforting is it to know that if someone doesn't have a good game, you've got all these players to fall back on? Yeah, I think that, you know, it's a sign of a, um, a good team. I think, uh, you know, I, I thought we were a little bit off our game, uh, you know, but then we did have people that we could go to that came in and really sparked us. And so, um, you know, that's what you hope for. You hope for depth, you know, and I think uh, we're just continuing to, de to develop it. You know, I think we've got a long ways to go. You know, I think we, I knew that going into it. You know, there's things this weekend that were exposed, I thought. We've got a lot to work on, and that's exciting. You know, I think we're... Um, we certainly didn't play bad this weekend, you know, but at the same time, uh, there's a lot to improve upon. Would you uh, explain any of those things? Well, I, I, just, I mean, you know, we, we allowed them to shoot 43%. You know, last year our opponent shot 34. Um, we gave up over 60 points both nights. Um, you know, that's not how we play. You know, the second half today, that was how we played. You know, and stretches the other night, that's how we play. And so just remembering who we are and getting everybody to that level defensively. Um, you know, and then just, you know, you, just offensive execution, continue to develop depth on our team. You know, those are things that just take time, and uh, they will come. In a game that was as close as it was for you guys in the first half, how important was it to get on that run to close the first half? No, oh, I thought it was vital. You know, that's where Colby comes in. You know, I mean, she came in and, and just sparked us and gave us energy. And I think the team was just kind of, you know, after our third media timeout where we're back and forth, you know, and not feeling good about things and credit them for that. Uh, you know, I think we just...
they kind of just had had enough. At the same time, Colby comes in and gets some big offensive rebounds. Devin did too. We got out in the open court for a couple fast breaks, you know, and, and so I thought we just sparked. I don't know. It was just like, okay, it's time to play. That's how, that's how it felt to me, which frustrated me because, I, you know, that's the way it should start, you know, but um, that's how the first half ended, fortunately.